Now to the battle over Arizona's new immigration law. Justice Department lawyers asked a federal judge in Phoenix today to block it before it takes effect next Thursday. Some proponents of the law say illegal immigration leads to more crime. But does it? Bill Whitaker takes a closer look. Pima County, Arizona. Sheriff's deputies on patrol for people crossing the border illegally from Mexico. We are encountering folks who, are, who have warrants out for their arrest, you know, deported felons and things like that. It's a fact of life here that frightens and infuriates many Arizonans. I've had illegals knocking on my front door. I've had drunk runners in my backyard. You get jumpy when you hear your dogs start barking at night. Supporters of the new law point to the recent murder of rancher Robert Krentz. Investigators say his killer snuck in from Mexico. Arizona Governor Jan Brewer says Mexican drug cartel style violence is crossing the border too. Well, our law enforcement agencies have found uh, bodies in the desert, uh, either buried or just lying out there that have been beheaded. In Pima County, the sheriff of 30 years says not only is there no evidence of beheadings, but... The border is more secure now than it's ever been. Murder, burglaries, rape, the major crimes. Up or down on the border? Uh, they're down. Down. Violence in the cities is down. According to the FBI, that's true across the southern border this decade. In San Diego, violent crime is down 17 percent. In Phoenix, down 10 percent. El Paso, Texas is one of the safest cities in the U.S. Violent crime down 36 percent. And it sits right across from Juarez, Mexico, one of the deadliest cities on earth. West along the border in Nogales, Arizona, this is a, a very safe environment. Um, Chris Cerulli, a third generation produce distributor, says it's as safe as 20 years ago. One reason? We're definitely seeing more Border Patrol over the last few years. Border Patrol Chief Victor Manjares is in charge of the 262 mile Tucson sector that covers Nogales. 3,300 agents patrol today, up from 1,500 a decade ago. When it comes to crime, does the rhetoric match the reality? No, it doesn't. No one is downplaying the magnitude of the problem here. These officers say thousands of immigrants and drug smugglers still cross the border illegally into Arizona every day. And they commit a disproportionate amount of crime. Just 7% of Arizona's population, illegal immigrants are 15% of state inmates. They are 14% of all inmates jailed for manslaughter and murder. 24% of inmates jailed on drug charges. Troubling to many Arizonans, even if the overall crime rate is down. Why is it that a little crime's okay? A few homicides are okay? A few home invasions are okay? That we really shouldn't be doing anything about that? We have bigger things to worry about? How outrageous. Protesters for and against the law are here outside court. Inside court today, the judge said she is skeptical the law is constitutional. She's expected to rule within days. Katie? Bill Whitaker. Bill, thanks very much for that report. Back to